This is IBM Museum. And over my left shoulder, I've got that JBL Creature speaker subsystem. And remember, the, um, the satellite speakers were just the foam edge pieces uh, was, was damaged, um, just had obliterated over time. And in a previous video, I went through and I've selected replacement speakers. And this is kind of a step to go through and see if I can get those satellite speakers back together. I've got some material I'm going to actually try very off the wall content with, uh, I have my Cricut Joy set up and that's a cutting machine. And I've ordered some material and I'm not really familiar if, um, if that's going to cut exactly, but we're going to try. We're going to go through and, and uh, try and get that JBL creature subsystem um, wrapped up, get it over with, get it completed, get it to where we can plug it into a system and use it as a 2.1 system with the subwoofer and satellite speakers. So let's get turned around. I'll bring up a, a little bit of a recap in that the what I'm referring to with these satellite speakers, and I haven't taken apart the one that has the the, the volume control, but these are those satellite speakers, and we've got the speaker that I selected for putting inside. I've got, of course, four of those, but we'll use two. We'll try to use two. And then that's assembly inside that that has to, the speaker has to go in. And so there's some material that we'll need for the padding on the back of the speaker. And that's what I'm gonna try first. There's a, there's a this little wedge goes through and just fastens that down with the um, rubberized uh, coating on the back of the original assembly. And then we're gonna try a little bit more of a, of a ring out here on the front of it. Here's the, um, and I could probably find some of these, these, these rubberized pads. Um, you know, I, I can't, I don't even know if that would successfully peel. Um, and then we're effectively doing kind of like a ring around the front of that because we're not gonna use that plastic piece. But I just, I've gone through and I've ordered this rubberized material. And let's get all the stuff on the, in fact, let's get the, the joy opened and I'll open up this sheet and kind of find out what what this material looks like. Oh, and it's actually even, um, it's even 3M material. And of course, it's in one sheet, we're we'll gonna have to go through and cut it. And I'll probably do this where I'll put, it's got kind of a, and I don't know if the, You know, I would think the sticky side would be where they've got that 3M layer. And I was thinking of using that as kind of the backing layer. I don't know if I would necessarily have to use the, the pad uh, on my Cricut Joy, the sticky pad. And this is what you do for like paper and bond, uh, you know, bond paper or poster paper um, to go through and feed it into the, um, the Cricut Joy. Now the Joy is a lot smaller. It's about a quarter of the size. It's able to do long banners, but um, then the Maker, the Cricut Maker, which I also have. And there's a few other models too. See, that's not, in fact, that's kind of glossy and that's not sticky. Um, that's just a rubberized coating. And I'm thinking of 
I don't really need to even go all that big of uh, of a square. And of course, I could be efficient in a way. There's not really any marking on this, but we'll go through. I wish I had, you know, kind of like the um, almost even more of the camcorder, but I've got, I should have gone through and set up the camcorder and then just switched over from um, the the system because I'm, I've got my, for the, what they call the, the Cricut calls the design space, um, just the application that goes through and where you, where you do the design of something. Yeah, I'm thinking that that backing might even be, I should have cut that more to, uh, ooh, no, that's, that's too thick of, um, material for that. As I say, normally you put the paper on there or, and there's, there's, um, and see, I don't know how the, how the cricket would handle, and that's the sticky back. I just didn't know how the cricket would handle this material. So I may have to do, besides just a, um, <laughs> a little bit more of a, just cutting with uh, scissors for this back piece. I don't know how I'll, um, I'll do this ring because we don't want to interfere with the foam on the outside. We just want to, this real thin lip. It's all the way around. I was ho I was hoping that I could go through and cut something out. Um, I'm maybe there's a thinner. I do have um like some carpet tape um, that I may do for the front because we really don't need, there just really wasn't all that much that, um, that we had to, to do in the front necessarily, this little wedge block goes in there. I mean that, with a little bit of padding on the back that holds it in place in the front, I just don't want it to slip in the front. And really there might be just a, enough friction fit on the back to have that centered to where we don't necessarily worry about uh, that slipping, here's the, here's the ring otherwise. And we want it just right in there. I mean, I want this ultimately to be, to be able to be disassembled later on for the speakers to be switched out or I just go through and I'd glue um, the speaker in place on that plastic assembly. I've got enough plastic glues. I was just looking for um, a little bit more, but I think if we, yeah, I think if we friction feed that enough and it, it, uh, it really goes through to the, to the point of, um, I don't need the system. I don't need the 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 cricket um, joy to to do this, and that we should have got just the um, the camcorder may have been a little bit better option. And here, let's see if we can go through. We're gonna see what it does. I need to cut a 
And wow, I'm not real good for uh, cutting circles. Needs to be about a three quarter inch. circle and yeah and it doesn't have to be I'm just looking for the back of this um, of the speaker to be on there and let's go through and we'll peel we'll peel the back because this is I think they advertise this as about a sixteenth of an inch thick. And I'm trying to do everything on on camera. Say it really doesn't uh, matter how neat we are, but but we can go through and yeah, and so we want the uh, solder leads and I may work with this I mean this is a this is assembly or or something that can be disassembled now um, to be able to uh, to work on it I just want to find Oh yeah, that uh, that has a clearance, and that that has enough um, friction fit there to hold that speaker in place. Just that pad without that adhesive ring on the front of that, and I'll need to get out. Um, I wasn't even prepared to go this far. I'll have to get out uh, my tool set and go through and fasten that down. Um, I may want to even get out the siren iron and beef up a little bit of those, those uh, terminals so I can do the, um, so the clips that are from the, Get the appropriate bit here. Now, like I say, we don't we don't necessarily have to do that uh, cricket now. Joy, I was looking to show it off a little bit. Now I haven't um, I've used my cricket maker, the bigger one, quite a bit. But I haven't gone through and I mean I did go through and prepare a little bit for the uh, for the video in uh, point out the system ultimately to uh, well and that holds it I think a 3D printed part that fits in there just like that, the old cone would be kind of elaborate too. All we're looking to do is just get that to where it's held and the, you know, we pull on it. Uh, of course we could pull it out of there by hand, but that's exerting some effort. I think for just the speaker being in there, and of course we could go through and we could increase, we could double up that pad on the back, but and I'll just have to see on this material. And I don't know if it's like a gasketing material. See, that's not really, it's not really, that wedge is not really necessarily flat on the back of the speaker. I think just this, we'll just go with a single layer. And if I want to do a dual layer, 
um, I can manage that a little bit later. But it may come time for us to pull out the um, the siren iron. Let me pull. Uh, let me pause the video and get that set up. I'll just flip to the um, real brief, briefly and show what I was intending for the cutting. Otherwise, this is the the Cricut design space that. It's actually running on my um, my Chromebook down here, and uh, I've got the second monitor set up. So I've got um, where you can do like a shape that you would cut. And like I was saying, in each one, each, each every, Two marks is a uh, an inch, and there's got to be a way to go through that. Like this would do an, an inch um, circle. There, there's got to be a way to go through there and uh, and z effectively zoom in on the on the canvas um, that I'm not uh, quite sure of, but but. Evidently, you know, I mean, it's designed for more than uh, not for uh, cutting uh, gasket material in this case, really, with that material being kind of thick. And we're going to get out, like I say, I'll get out the siren iron, get it all fired up. I was saying that I'd go through and pause the video, but of course, I don't want to get the heat close to anything that can be damaged, melt, and <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pause the video while I get this set up. This is just all too uh, tangled. <laughs> And I don't necessarily need any uh, kind of flux or anything like that, probably, although I've got that out. Let's go through. Came up the temperature real quick. I just want to see. Normally this solder I have is pretty good, although it does put off some smoke, as you see. And uh, it is electronic solder. Had it. And we're just looking to get where these clips, and they're already in some kind of, uh, you know, uh, padding or something else, or I don't know, they have insulation. Okay, so positive being. See, that's that's what I want there. And actually, and I don't like that speaker really moving around as we go through and attach these. So let's go through. It looks in good condition still. 
dome. Ooh. Note. Wow. Yeah, thankfully that didn't bond to anything. Let's look and see these are just uh yeah, with no solder. Did that red one real good. I think that'll come out real good because all we want to do is put a little bit of material and the flux could uh, help that. Just like that. And we've got to get this in kind of a position. I don't know why they have those, these uh, sleeves like that. But then let's go through. Soldering iron will come up to temperature real quick when we go through and need it for the other one. And I'm just wanting, oh, I said I did that red one good. Then it comes loose. And that's just positioning everything around. And the other one has more electronics since it's got those capacitive um, volume. See, that goes through and that holds that. Well, no, that speaker is not. Okay. So it holds it tight and it was even not in the right. Position. go through that's just got that little capacitor sort of thing well, a capacitor for like a bandpass or something maybe okay and so Cone looks really good in there. And it appears to be pretty centered. Get out my screws. We'll get this one closed up. And magnetic screwdriver, but of course goes to doesn't get in the right spot. So there is that one complete. And we'll rearrange the desk when the uh, when the time comes here.
And that's why you have a uh, metallic dish. And this even fastens to the um, my metal bench pretty good. And I've got a nap circling around here too. So there's the the damaged assembly. And we'll see this as it comes out. Okay, there's our longer and I say that little that plastic wedge screw. And so this goes through and of course what we can do uh, right off is we get the speaker leads disconnected. You see how bad that bad a shape that cone is in. The the foam on the outside is just disintegrated. Okay, so we grab our other speaker and we go for another unskilled <laughs> circle. Maybe this will come out better. We're looking for something about a quarter inch. This even is nice. It gives me a little tab to uh, peel the the back that supposed that adhesive. Okay, going that. Going through and attaching that, we're going to get the, so, all right, doesn't look fantastic, but it's hidden. And get the soldering iron, will warm up here real quick. And I'm just going to leave that assembly like that and go back in. So here Okay. Remember we're just looking for a little bit I don't want to drop solder on my foam pad or anything like that. Should have it. Okay. I'm going to leave the siren iron for, on for now, just in case we don't have enough material. And then again, we have positive. Yeah, I need to put a little bit more. I could go through and clean my tip. I don't want to disconnect any wires on the that uh, braid of speaker wire that comes out okay gives it enough of a
a nub. And I don't know if JBL goes through and uses that same suspension foam for the subwoofer. You wouldn't hope, or you would hope that it doesn't, that it isn't the same uh, foam um, that can break down the same, uh, same way as it does on these satellite speakers. But... Again, friction fit. Mm. Yeah, let's go my with my doubling up idea because um, Pull my mic loose, clipped on my shirt. I'll have to see if this is um, make sure that this is good enough um, content, good enough uh, recording aspect and everything. I'm just going to do a rectangular one there, kind of like. Uh, what that plastic wedge, the shape that it has. Just go through and later on I can go through and and um, do that with the other speaker if it comes down to it. Yeah, that does, that does better. I just want to make sure that that's in the right. Yeah. Yeah, the second piece in there goes through and fastens that down quite a bit better. We're centered and everything. Just have the stuff, and we've got all those uh, controls and all that stuff route some uh, wires out of the out of the way to get this one sealed up and see it has almost a uh, I even have to see these are all in place but I even have to see how those little um, those rubberized feet in there might be kind of the same material as what I'm uh, using there. Okay, so we've got two satellite speakers that we're just getting done. Okay. So I'm going to do a pause as I go through and pick up and get things uh, situated on the, the bench a little bit better. I do have the other system out that I'm going to go through and test with. Okay. So now I've got the uh, 
that JBL creature speaker subsystem set up on the, on the bench here. And I do have the so-called tweener system there. Um, I can go through and switch over to the audio outputs. And I'm just gonna put these kind of mid-range. I did hear a little bit of sound as it uh, as the system started up. Let's go through, switch over to the VGA. Okay, have my Rebus screensaver that came up. But we go through and let's get into control panel, sound speech and audio devices. They even have a separate And this SoundMax digital audio, that should be going to the the speakers. And I'm not even hearing that. And that's supposed to be at maximum volume. Uh, device volume, speaker volume. Let's see if we can do <clears throat> So I did hear a um, I did hear a sound when it um, it wasn't real loud. Okay, sound playback. That wasn't very loud at all. I'm trying to go through and um, and bring up the volume on those little, these little supposedly cap capacitive touch switches. Just to see. Wow, and that is not It's like these speakers aren't even. Um... Yeah, I'm not even hearing that at all. And of course, that's off. And these are 
color coded. I heard a pop. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Maybe that'll make all the difference. They, they actually uh, click into place. I still have that powered off. It's powered on. Okay, so that's much better. And I, I don't even know how much. Yeah, I even wish I had. Um, there's uh, later windows. There's the. There is the. Um, there's where you go through and test the speakers. They have um, they have the exit windows. Okay, I can hear clicks as I'm going through and touching the uh, that capacitive pad now. Wow, there we are. So let's get the treble and the bass. Of course, it's not really on that good of um, of um, mount for the for being on the bench here. So, just no indication of where you are in the volume at all. And I dropped it just a little bit, so... so that it wouldn't necessarily distort at the high end there. So I need to pause and let's see if we can find something like uh, the uh, Windows Media Player and run that. We'll be right back. Okay, and I didn't have to go far at all. Um, just to kind of show a little bit of, uh, I'm, I'm leaving up the internal webcam, but there's this um, Sound Max, and it's got a um, test, uh, test listening environment. And you can go through, I think I went through the environmental models before, talked about the padded cell, and they even have like a sewer pipe, I thought. Um, and then custom ear models, adult and child, and that probably for the adult, it probably picks up a little bit on the treble. Now this is just a white noise. Okay, and you guys aren't able to hear it in uh, stereo, just with the single mic I have. But it's uh, that's impressive for going through the left to right.
and I even have my the right and left the satellite speakers um, inverted that this one and I thought it with the the plugs the way that it is um, because there's there's you know a, the plug be, being closer on the one side and so the the satellite speaker with the with the volume control being on the right so there there we have the setup and if we go to back to our system and going through the loop Yeah, that that is nice. I can I can see why this um, system got good reviews uh, when it was new, and then um, why people were disappointed when it uh, when it went through and um, you know the. And then the that foam degraded um, to to make them not working. You see, you can see a little bit of the green light on the underside of that, the one speaker just to signify that it's powered up and everything. I'm not in the best. Uh, you know, it'd be nice to show these things off to the uh, the side for not to see how, again how the thumbnail picks up um, to this, but. Getting on 50 minutes, and so definitely a little bit longer video. But we just saw start to finish. We have um, this JBL uh, creature speaker subsystem. We've gone through and completed that. We've got everything functioning, and I'll go through from. You know, you you may see it in future videos. Just as we've got um, music on the system. Um, to go through and play that, I'll go through and put it to good use. And I've got a playlist for this, and this will go on. I think I've got already the three videos, and this will go for the fourth. Just as an odd sort of content. And if you did enjoy this content, go ahead and click on that that like button. And by all means, go through and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. If you really like this and invite your friends too we need more subscribers that is the photo that that that'll be a good uh that'd be a good thumbnail kind of rat's nest on wiring and everything else but that looks good and that's all i have for now this is ibm museum thank you